What's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today I'm bringing you a video of me installing aftermarket speakers. Um, now I do have six and a halfs all the way around, so I don't have any six by nines in the rear. Um, I just got a door speaker there, there, um, right down there, and on the other side as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started on the video so I can hurry up and get my speakers installed. All right, so to do, to take this little cover off here and to take this cover off down here, I want to use this nice because it's a lot skinnier than a flathead, so you can get in there better. So like here, I'm just going to wedge it under and just pop that little cap off just like that. And this one sticks on it, but this one doesn't, so it'll fly off if you don't catch it in the right spot, just like that. Now we can go ahead and take these screws out. Okay, and then uh, this one right here, This for this I'm gonna use a flathead. Pop that little cap off of it, and then once you pop the cap off, there's gonna be a screw right there. Just like that. All right, so there's all the screws. All right, so after you get all the screws out, there's gonna be this little thing up here that you gotta take off. It should just pop right off. Um, this is if you have tweeters, if you have that version of the Lancer. I don't, so there's nothing in there, and the, there's this little wire that gets stuffed right in there, so there's that part. It should allow me to grab a hold of it and start popping out the uh, clips that holds on the door. All right, so after you do that, um, there's gonna be this screw right here uh, holding on the door handle. Just go ahead and take that out. Right there, little tiny little screw. And then you should be able to pull, pull it up. Just like this, slide it out. So there's the door handle. And then down here there's clips. One goes to the mirror, and then the other one goes to the other switches. All right, so now that this door is off, we're gonna wanna remove the rear one as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Once we get the uh, door panel off and out of the way, next, this is our speaker area. So we're gonna wanna disconnect it with this little clip right here. If I can, uh, there it is. And then you can twist it and pull out. Uh, so this is our paper filter that we're gonna replace with the kickers. Um, as you see, it's a triangular shape. So I'll show you how you can get away with that, um, with these uh, using the stock uh, little plastic piece here. Um, a little bit later in the video, but that's basically how you do the fronts. So let's go ahead and jump to the rear, get those speakers out, and then uh, continue on. All right, so now that we got the front off, let's go ahead and get the rear off so we can do them all at the same time. So again, take your little knife and uh, pop this little clip out. Oh, so that one went flying there. <laughs> and then we can do the same thing to the rear. Just pop that open. And that's done. Take a flat head. And this one is actually right here for the rear. And just go ahead and take out all these screws. Alright, so now that all the screws are out, we can go ahead and try to pop this one off by grabbing down here. There's a nice little gap and pulling off. Just like that. Same as the front, there's going to be this little screw right here in the back that you want to take off. Remove that screw. Pop this off. Just like that. Then also take off these little connectors right here. Done. Alright, so now that both panels off, we can do the same thing we did with the front. Just remove the clip. Twist, pull. Just like 
back in. Hold on. There it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's those paper filters, the shitty ones um, that we're going to replace with our new kicker ones. So let's go ahead and hop inside and I'll show you how to use this old bracket for the new ones. And then we'll go ahead and stick them back in, put the uh, panels back on and uh, test it out. So yeah. All right, so now that I got my paper stock uh, speaker, I'm going to take my Dremel and cut it out um, so that I can use this with the stock connector so I don't have to cut anything, which is pretty cool, um, into my car like that so I don't have to Dremel out of my car. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip these little uh, brackets that hold the speaker on. I should be able to wiggle it loose. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go on. And success. All right, so now that I got this, I'm going to go ahead and mount me some uh, screws and my speaker on here. So yeah, let's go over and do that. All right, so now that we got our hole cut out from the old speakers, we're gonna go ahead and take our kickers and try to line them up with these little prongs because we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna use the same connector so we don't gotta splice them into our car. Right. So with this, you only can use two screws. We're going to have one here and then one sticking out down there. So once we line it up. All right, so now we got our speaker mounted to our bracket. Um, so the next step is to um, either solder these or connect these to these little terminals right there. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once we got it in the uh, stock case here, uh, I went ahead and soldered my terminals um, instead of using clips on it. So I felt like that would be better. Uh, I can't get much more easier once you do that because all you gotta do is connect this in just like this, just like that and slide it where these little openings are and turn it clock rot wise and um, it's in there so let's go ahead and do the rear all right so we did the front let's go ahead and clip these in the rear just like that line it up and turn it clockwise done um, so that is the kicker installed portion of it so let's go ahead and uh, slap these door panels on it all right, so uh, I got the speakers installed inside the bracket. Um, I apologize for not doing the uh, panel back together. It's basically the reverse options. It's a lot easier. You just make sure that you clip in the window buttons so you have your window functionality as well as your mirror. And then you snap it back in, you put the screws back in and call it good. But the speakers are in. They sound pretty good as well. Um, I'm not going to play any music just because of the fact that uh, copyright policies and all that fun stuff. But they do sound good. They're Kicker CS if you're interested. Um, I got them from Best Buy. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the video. If you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I did replace all four. So um, yep, peace.